它抖是第二条线的。The master said that I have a good sound. I could play it in front of the royal family in Tang Dynasty. In this temple, you will find all different kind of amazing fusions. Look, you can even find Sphinx. I believe that the fragrance of these floral headgear can please themselves and also relieve their fatigue. I mean, I feel like I am making the movement instead of the puppy. Oh no, wait, this is more like me. It's so nice if you can have your loved one to watch this lantern with you. Mr. Lee's ideas were way ahead of his time. I suspect he was a time traveler. Thousand years ago, merchants from all over the world they traveled across the sea, first landed here, following their steps, and set foot in Quanzhou. The panini spirit of Quanzhou is everywhere. Hmm, look at this. I'm wondering who discovered this edible thing. Quanzhou people were so obsessed in building pagodas in ancient times. I have one right here. Call me Tuota Chen Tianwang. Hello, I'm Lin Liang. I'm Xiaoqing. Wendy. Guo Heng. Xiaolin. Yu Ying. I'm Zheng Ping. I'm Hannah. I am Lin Jingyi. Zaitong Fan Get Zaitong Fan Get Zaitong Fan Get Zaitong Fan Get Get Fan in Quanzhou Zaitong Fan Get Get Fan in Quanzhou Come on! World Heritage City welcomes you World Heritage City welcomes you World Heritage City welcomes you Every year on the May 13th of Chinese lunar calendar, at the very city center of Quanzhou, a coastal city at southeast China, a large number of people who have the same belief gather in this place to worship a very famous ancient Chinese military general, Guan Yu, also known as Lord Guan. I would like to show you something. As you may see in this couplet, it says, Gui Zha Jian Diao Dao Miao Qing Cheng He Yi. 公平正直，入门不败无妨。Ah, I think it means the people with evil mind, even they donate tremendous money, they would not get blessings. And for those people, they are righteous. Even they don't come and worship, they will still be blessed. Yes, and actually, this is the essential value. The Guan Yu Temple is trying to advocate. Guan Yu was a great general lived during the late Eastern Han Dynasty of China. He is known for his loyalty and righteousness. Honesty and credibility are the two keys to business success. Hence, Guan Yu is greatly admired by merchants, honored as Lord Guan and worshipped as the God of Fortune. Devout followers would light up candles and incense, make wishes related to health, career, study, marriage, and of course, very importantly, about wealth. And different combinations would be meaning yes or no mm -hmm. from uh, Ludati. It's like a toss coin. Yes, we In toss the boy. Right, <laughs> toss the boy. <laughs> okay. Lord Guan believe is worldwide widespread. Where there are ethnic Chinese, there is a Guangdi temple. Guan is wearing a green cape. Green cape just remind me one of the saints in Catholicism. His name is Saint Jude. He is also wearing a green cape, and he has also a very similar character as the God of Fortune, Lord Guan. You want to go and have a look? Of course, yes. Come on, let's go. 
Okay. So I'd like to show you this. Wow. Look at it. Amazing, right? Yes, yes. Saint Jude was one of the twelve apostles of Jesus. Many Catholics worship him and seek his help and blessings. For someone who have expenses, payment, or debt needs, they could pray to Saint Jude for urgent finance help. Many Mexicans believe that if they leave money as an offering to Statue of Saint Jude, that his spirit will reward them with financial gains. ก็ในสันติสีชุดข้าวก้าวสีการตกตุ่ยเรียนอะไรสีก็มันส่งวันชอบที่จะจะได้เราเราจ่อเสียงจะได้จ่อไอจะได้ซื้อที่เขาสีสันติเลยชุดข้าวสันติกันก็ข้อหาก็อยู่ในอยู่ในชุดข้าวข้าวเลยเหตุตัวเจอคือสีสีเจี๊ยบจีเป๋ที่เราจุ้ยจะได้กับเชียวจ่ายอีสุสีสันติเลยก็มันสันติไว้บนหาแล้วจงก็ไปบนหาสีสันติเลย Drinking tea. This is on the top of the Qingyuan Mountain, a perfect spot for a cup of tea. Chenzhou people love to come here to drink tea while having Chenzhou delicacy. Great. Wow, they look yummy. I'm gonna try this one. Yeah. It reminds me of the black pudding yeah, in the UK. It looks like a pudding, but I think it's salty. Right, it is salty, and they may be of, or look different, but they are of the same ingredients. Have a try. Have a try. It has been stewed for hours, but it still tastes very tender and juicy. Fried sweet potato is quite a typical Chinese food. Yes. Though the uh, sweet potato is typically found in Chenzhou people's dining table, it hadn't been introduced to China until 16th century from Southeast Asia, and uh, since then it's widely planted. Qingyuan Mountain is not only a popular spot for a cup of tea, but also a famous Taoist mountain. With legends and cultural relics of Laozi, the founder of Taoism. According to one local legend, Laozi left the central China and traveled southeastwards to Fujian. Qingyuan Mountain was the very place where Laozi transcended to the land of immortal. And about 1,000 years ago, Chanzhou people were so obsessed with Taoism and Laozi. And look, this is the largest proof. The stone statue of Laozi was carved out of a whole natural granite rock, reflects traditional Chinese aesthetics. There is no historical record about when and by whom it was carved, but we can be sure is that it had been there before the Southern Song Dynasty is at least 1,000 years old and it is the earliest and largest extant Taoist stone statue of Laozi in China. Uh, this statue is in a rather relaxed posture, mm -hmm. and Laozi just uh, is resting his hands on his knee. It seems like that he is really enjoys the nature and uh, integrates himself with the environment. Yes, and uh, you know that Taoism and Laozi advocate that uh, man and the natural should be in harmony. Mm -hmm. So this statue and the setting around it is just perfectly reflects the uh, essence of Taoism. Taoism and Confucianism were both mainstream ideologies in ancient China. According to historical records, Confucius consulted Laozi many times in his lifetime. Because Laozi was about 20 years older than Confucius, and they were living on the same period of time. 
that dates back to 5th century BC, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, that reminds me of um, a very famous singer in that old time in the Western. That's a Socrates, right? Socrates, yeah. yes. Socrates, yes. yes. Also, also of the same nice. same period of time, yeah. So indeed, that yeah. was a great era. The wisdoms created by both Chinese and Western sages in the 5th century BC still have profound influence on shaping people's ethics and values today.